Uh, hi, I'm Kieran Jacobson. I'm a junior at Bellevue West. And, <laughs> and uh, this is Poems About Boys. There is yes and no. Sometimes you find that over extended periods there is, I guess so, there is inevitability, there is relentless waves carving their agenda into seaside rocks slowly but with the surety of one who will get what they want. The rocks will wake up one day and wonder when they allowed the ocean to possess them. They'll say they chose because they don't remember any of their no's. They don't remember every day the sea stripped away another layer of stone burrowing into bone rhythmically, rubbing her raw until she can't remember where the line was. The sea will state that it isn't his fault. It's just nature. The moon made him do it. I stand solid as stoned, but you have stamina like I have never encountered before, pushing harder and harder, further and further, millimeters at a time. I wake up in the morning and find you embedded inside me. I am unwavering, but you don't try to move me, rather claim me as your home. Make yourself at home, spoon feed complacency until my mind fogs over and you become an unavoidable truth. Some days the current carries you away to unknown islands in need of swallowing. Her sandy cliffs are constant that she will always be there, that he can always come back to take the tide temporarily retreats, showing parts of the shore that only exist it that only get to exist when the ocean isn't there. Reefs and grottos, barnacles and tide pools, his currents kept just out of reach, currently urging her dunes that they are not doomed without the accent of the ocean, try to dry out the watery whispers she has absorbed from every explanation of his Atlantic assaults that puts her at fault until there is only a hot, constant honesty, until his inevitability is replaced with the crabs and cactuses' daydreams that the day will come when he seems like steam under the surety that will come with her future epiphany hoping someday you will recede with the tide and never come back and maybe I will finally understand that I'm beautiful as a desert.